Hey guys, STO Youngblood back with you, and today what I wanted to do was talk a little bit about the power management system um, that's currently available in all the vehicles that you're going to be flying in Star Citizen. Now, I'm, you might be saying, yeah, there's some information out there, but here's the deal. What I've seen so far has been some really, really short videos explaining just how to do it, and some really, really long videos that just go into way more detail than you really need. So, I'm going to try and give you the Goldilocks version, showing you how you can actually change the setup, what it does, and a quick recommendation based on what I've seen so far in-game. Alright guys, so in order to actually um, start playing around with your system, what you need to notice is above your hologram off to the left side of your screen, Above your ship, you're going to see overall, weapons, power, and shield. So, now that you've noticed those, you actually toggle between them by using F1, F2, F3, or F4. F2 is going to be your weapons, which I'm going to show you some stuff in here in a later video. F3 is actually going to be how you toggle and kind of uh, make some changes to your power system and routing. Now, what we actually want to see and what we actually want to change is in this triangle right next to your ship's hologram. Now, in order to select that, we need to start using our number pad on your uh, keyboard. So if you hit F9, you're going to notice that no target in the upper right-hand screen starts to flash. And then you want to hit the number pad 7 in order to kind of start tabbing along until you actually start seeing the triangle flashing. Now that you've got that flashing, you select it by using the number pad 5, and then you make adjustments by using the arrow keys within the number pad. So for example, if I push 8, I go up, and if I push 4, I go left. Now, you're going to notice these are labeled G1, G2, and G3, and right now it looks like I've got all my power diverted to G1. Now, what G1 is, is actually you're going to be your uh, weapon systems. And what this does is it's going to give priority to your weapons, meaning that your weapons are going to have the, uh, their share of the draw. They get the power first before it goes to other systems. So if I leave this on 100% diversion to weapons, I'm going to notice that my lasers fire longer without having to recharge um, or overheating. Um, and since they are the number one priority, um, you know, you're going to start noticing that firing is going to deplete your shields and your overall agility turbo speed is going to drop just a little bit. Now, if you want to select a different option, you can use the 6 key, for example, to go ahead and t uh, tab all the way over to G2. And G2 is going to be your uh, avionics and your engines. Now, when you're using G2 at 100%, this is basically meaning that your avionics and your engines are getting the, uh, you know, the juice first. Uh, and that means you're going to be really maneuverable and really agile, but weapons are going to get power drained really quickly, as are your shields. And in a firefight, that's not necessarily a good thing either. And then finally, if you want to go down to G3, do, 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 by using 4 to go left and 2 to go down on the number pad again, um, this is going to give your shields the priority. Um, your shields are going to be getting the first look, and your weapons are going to lose power very quickly. Um, again, not an ideal situation. But let's say that's what you want to roll with. You want to give your shields all the juice. Now that you've got it selected, you hit uh, 5 on the number pad again. And then in order to save it, just pick another F1 key. So F1 back over to overall. And then if I hit F3 again, you're going to notice that all of a sudden it's still saved there. So that's basically how you do it. One thing to note is if you die, you have to redo this every time you come in. And it's not going to save when you exit. It's specific to each ship that you actually pull. Another thing that's worth noting here is that you actually aren't just stuck to being 100% for these different systems. You can actually kind of find some of the middle ground. For example, if you come to right here, you're going to be giving your weapons and your uh, shields a little bit more juice, sacrificing your engines. But you're not giving your weapons as much, for example, if you were up here. So there are middle grounds that you can kind of play with, and I think different ships in different situations are going to warrant different uh, options to use. But you do have the flexibility to try that out. So, as we kind of wrap this up, you're probably asking, Youngblood, is this something that I even need to worry about, or is something I should be changing, or am I missing out by not doing this? And I think the short answer is, you should probably practice how to do this, because it's going to be relevant in the game. And I think as we get more information and more tweaks, and less of the bugs in the beta and the alpha and all this, that it's going to be a skill you're going to want to learn how to have. That being said... Overall, to me, it still feels that having it somewhere in the middle area is going to be your best bet. If you start pulling too, many, um, too much of the power away from your weapons and towards the engines and towards the shields, I don't feel like you get a real big return on your investment. But what you get in return is a real negative, um, real negative impact on your weapons. I feel like you overheat a lot, um, you run out of power, and you're left sitting there with an enemy at your target that you can't really do anything about. So if you want to play with this and try and find what works best for you, 
Um, I would suggest that you move it a little bit more towards G1 um, and then try and find a balance between G2 and G3. Keep it within that internal triangle that you can see there. Um, but the key here is you don't want to take away from your weapons um, because it's really frustrating when you can't get those shots on target. Now, maybe for somebody that has a better accuracy or is a better pilot than I am right now, there's more merit in getting um, more power to the engines of the shields because you're not shooting or spamming as much as I am. Um, but I think a lot of us are learning right now and not having the ability to put rounds down range is really troublesome when you're in a dogfight. So that's kind of my recommendation. Don't take it too far away from center. Um, and uh, if you're going to do that, push it a little bit towards weapons. But again, just know that there's an equal and opposite reaction, and some of those are actually worse than equal. They are more detrimental than beneficial. So um, stay tuned for a whole lot more. If you have questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I'll have a lot more Star Citizen content coming soon. Have a good one. Take care. See you later.